Josephine Monasteria is 76 years old. But she does not agree with the opinion that over the years people should feel their old age and change their lifestyle. On the contrary, she is convinced that with age we begin to look better and new opportunities open up before us. That's why she started playing sports at the age of 59 and taking care of her health. The story of this extraordinary woman inspires, changes and provides once again that everyone has amazing abilities that need to be developed. Watch this video to the end, and you will learn about all the secrets of this woman. Friends, in order to stay healthy, beautiful and active as the heroine of our video, it is important to take a comprehensive approach to this issue. You can learn all the useful information on this topic from our videos on the channel. So we recommend subscribing and clicking on the bell, so as not to miss new educational releases. Let's go further. Being a Venezuelan by nationality, Josephine lives in the United States. At the age of 59, she began to discover talents in herself, the existence of which she had never suspected. Having no idea about bodybuilding, she started working on her body at the initiative of a trainer. After seven months of playing sports, the woman won her first national competitions. She says she feels better now than many 20 years old. She doesn't consider herself an elderly woman and enjoys her excellent physical and emotional state. The woman argues that we must fight stereotypes and resist the image of an elderly person that society and the media impose. The woman even wrote her own book, which is called Great at Any Age. In this book, Josephine convinced the millions of women and men around the world her message, which should inspire them to destroy the myth of the influence of time on human life. Josephine shared her daily rituals that help her stay in good shape. She says, I call them that because rituals are associated with a sense of reverence and respect. This is not a routine, but really important classes. Friends, before we continue, we ask you to like and leave a comment under the video. This will help promote it, which will become motivation for even more people. Let's go further. So what is the list of the Josephine Monasteria's daily rituals? 3 a.m. I start my day by reading the Bible. I pray and meditate. I devote an hour and a half to this. Faith is one of the useful habits that increase the chances of a long, healthy life. Religious affiliation doesn't matter. You can be a Buddhist, a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew or a Hindu. People who do not forget about the spiritual aspect are less likely to suffer from cardiovascular diseases, depression, stress, and their immune system functions much better. Even those who just believe in something are distinguished by self-esteem and a higher sense of self-worth, because faith organizes, simulates positive expectations, which in turn reduces the level of stress, the growth of cortisol, the stress hormone. 4.30 am. Sports activities. I jog for 5 km and walk back at a fast pace. I finish around 6 in the morning. The benefits of running are as follows. The work of the lungs improves. The efficiency of gas exchange increases. The cardiovascular system straightens. Oxygen enters the tissues of the body more efficiently. The body is cleansed of toxins. The body's immune system becomes more resistant to viruses and bacteria. In the case of malignant cells, the body is more actively involved in the fight against them. 6 a.m. I do yoga on the beach for half an hour, and after sunrise I swim in the sea. I enjoy swimming and feel great in the water. While everyone is asleep, I watch the new day come and admire the sunrise. By the way, if you haven't tried yoga yet, then I definitely advise you to try it. Already after the first weeks of classes, you can feel what benefits yoga gives. It allows you to learn how to feel your body, manage your health and expand the range of lungs. Yoga classes have practically no contraindications, age and gender restrictions. The initial data and the level of training do not matter. The goal of yoga is to change and harmonize a person, to give him a perception of the body and its needs, to allow him to remove psychological clamps. 8 a.m. Mandatory breakfast. Before going to the gym, I eat a piece of meat, fruit, or other nutritious foods. 
Nutrition and training go hand in hand. Food gives us the energy we need to exercise and the nutrients we need to recover from training and competition. Breakfast charges with energy and nutrients for the whole day. This is one of the main reasons why it should not be ignored. During the night, our body starves. At the same time, it spends a lot of resources on growth and recovery processes without receiving new energy in return. Therefore, if we skip breakfast, then our body is forced to spend an inviolable reserve, its own energy resources that it needs to maintain vital activity. Over time, this stock is gradually depleted, which causes poor health and stress. If you regularly ignore breakfast, other unpleasant consequences may appear, for example, dysbiosis and gallstones. From 10 to 12.30 Training in the gym I don't go to the gym to chat with someone because I believe in the unity of mind and body. Nothing should distract me from sports. If you have an increased concentration of attention, you will be able to quickly delve into the essence of a complex topic, move productively towards your goal and finish what you started. Live more fully and consciously every day and get more pleasure from life in general. This applies not only to sports, but also to any other sphere of life. Learn to refuse unnecessary conversations and discussions. Of course, this doesn't mean that you should always walk, be silent and not talk to anyone. It's just better to devote a separate time to this. Concentration is important in any area of life. 12.30. I go home and have lunch. Protein is always present in my daily diet. Proteins, amino acids and carbohydrates help to recover after a workout when their consumption is increased. If you ate a full meal a few hours before the workout, then the nutrients will be enough to recover after. But if the training was still on an empty stomach, then your own resources may not be enough to restore the loaded muscles. In such cases, a nutritious meal is necessary. From 14 to 16, rest. At this time, I usually sleep or read a book. A rest is necessary for both our body and psyche. Only by resting, we can regain strength. We can remain healthy in every sense, productive, happy, and maintain a good mood. A rest helps to reboot, restore the reserves of the body, and remain resistant to stressful situations and even some diseases. From 17 to 20. From now on, I'm doing things that don't require a lot of energy. Usually these are household chores or meetings with friends or relatives. And also at this time I can go to theater, museum, or walk around the evening city. At exactly 21, I go to bed. Not earlier and not later. Sleep mode was not invented by boring perfectionists or strict parents. Scientists draw a direct link between excellent health and a clear life schedule. And I totally agree with that. And all because hormones and neurotransmitters, on which cheerfulness, mental clarity and physical strength depend, are produced at certain hours. I strongly recommend that you consult a doctor and understand the most optimal time for sleep and its duration based on your age and lifestyle. Do not follow the general recommendations from the internet, we're all individuals. Therefore, it is better to go to a specialist and understand your sleep regime. It is very important. This is how the day of the grandmother bodybuilder passes, who proves by her example that age is a state of mind and not a figure in the passport. Friends, what do you think about this woman? Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments.